Here's what we're going to need. A mixing bowl, water, dish soap, and of course dry ice. So we're gonna pour water inside of a mixing bowl. Then we're gonna get a chunk of dry ice and we need to break it off a piece. Okay, that's as good. To another one. Alright, I've got a small piece of old t-shirt. Put some soap in there and soap it up. You see how it's producing a lot of smoke over there? Then I'm just gonna go like that. And capture all the smoke under a thin layer of bubble. Check it out. Cool. Man, look, look how huge this bubble is. Cool. Let's try this again. Sick, huh? For this experiment, you're gonna need a Q-tips like that, 12 of them, and you wanna glue them together. As you can see, I just grabbed it and took out all this part and glued them together with the hot glue. It is super simple, just make a square, glue them together, then this four, and then top ones. And then we're going to need soap. And now let's see the magic. So what will happen if I'm gonna dip it in soap like this, like all four corners, you know? Let's check out what happened. Check it out. You see, there's four bubbles say, like that inside. But can we make a square over there in the middle? Let's try it out. What I'm gonna get is bubbler and drop a small bubble inside of it. Let's see if it will work. Boom! And we actually got a square inside of it. Bubble stuck inside of this square. How cool is that? Isn't it insane? And check it out. Whenever you try it to touch it with your hand, it pops, right? So I'm gonna show you how to catch the bubbles with your hands so they don't pop. You see? And we cut the bubble. So pretty much you put a little bit of soap on your glove, like that. You see what kind of material there is? And you can hold the bubble in your hand, you know? And you see I have a little bit of soap on my glove, so that way so that way you can catch some bubbles. Check it out. You see it sticks on it and doesn't pop. Pretty cool. For this experiment we're going to need some kind of bowl, baking soda, soap bubble maker and vinegar. Let's get to it. First thing we're gonna do is pour a whole bunch of soda in a bucket. Then we're gonna pour vinegar on top. And then while it's bubbling, we gotta make some bubbles. And those bubbles will float just in the air and not go anywhere. Check it out, now it's just floating on top next to the water because of the baking soda. There is a small layer of um, CO2 and the bubble wouldn't just pop. Check it out, they're just floating next to the water and not touching the water and finally it did. So what I'm gonna do is put a bunch of aluminum foil into the bottle, one of those. So what I'm gonna do is put a little bit of hydrochloric acid in this bottle. Close the lid with it. 
then wait till the reaction starts. Okay, here you go. Now I'm gonna put it under water. Now let's start to set it on fire. Ooh, do you hear the explode? Okay, it was a little bit of fail because I put way too much aluminum foil in there. So let's do it on a smaller scale. As you can see, it's creating fumes. They're gonna go up the tube. I'm gonna make a bunch of bubbles. Put this away somewhere. So now I'm gonna light those bubbles up and see what happens. Woo! Do you see that? They all got on fire. Try it in the dark. Try this again. Woo! It's exploded. Boom! Okay, what we're going to need. Dish soap, warm water with some kind of container, and most important, dry ice. Let's get to our experiment. So first we're gonna pour some soap inside of the water. And then we want to mix it up so we get the soapy water. And then we're going to grab a piece of dry ice and put it into the soapy water. And let's see what happens. We're pretty much getting uh, bubbles. So we're pretty much getting the bubble making machine. You can actually now touch it with your hand. That's totally safe. And when you pop bubbles, smoke comes out. So for the kids, this is, will be super fun. So you grab it, look, and if I pop them, smoke comes out. And the smoke actually really, really warm. We'll check it out. So if you have a bunch of kids and you want to do some kind of cool experiments, this is completely safe. Just make sure they do not touch the piece of ice. So you need adult supervision. Boom. How cool is that? This is actually so much fun and stress relieving. I'm actually gonna play this all night because it's so cool. Okay guys, check this out. It should get frozen like in seconds. This is just a soap bubble, but this is about 21 degrees right now. And guess what? It's gonna get frozen real fast. You see the ground is frosted on the plastic so the, the bubble should start freezing up pretty soon I think this is the best way to see it like that you see those frozen flakes floating around look at that one that one is perfect wow this is amazing and they just floating in there because half of the soap bubble is starting to freeze up and most of it is not yet Wow, they're just amazing. So this is what's gonna happen to your soap bubbles if you're gonna try to blow them in the cold, in the freezing temperature. Let's try to pop it now. You see, it doesn't really pop all the way. It's like a ice thing right here. Pretty crazy, pretty cool, huh? Let's try this again. Here's another one I did and it's already frozen, let's try to pop it. It doesn't pop. It just like, looks like paper but it's just frozen bubble. Pretty crazy, right? There's one up there, slowly getting frozen. Pretty amazing. It's not too cold, but it's cold enough to get the bubble frozen slowly. Okay, and now it's like frozen shot. Let's try to pop it with my finger, this giant ball, boom, and it's all ice. For this experiment we're going to need soap bubble mixture, plastic bottle, a layer towel, and a rubber band. First thing you want to do is cut the bottom of the bottle, just like that. Then we're going to bring a towel and put it like that on the bottle. And then grab a rubber band and put it on a bottle like that. Then we want to bring a plate and put some bubble mixture in there. Just like that. Already did. And then we want to grab this bottle with the towel and just dip it in there. And just let's move this out of the way and blow.
How cool is that? Isn't it awesome? Pretty amazing. So I got a bowl and I got hot water in here. So I will produce more smoke this way. Okay, then I'm gonna do a couple of dry ice. Then I'm gonna grab a bubble maker and throw a bunch of bubble in there and see what happens. Check out these bubbles just floating on the top of CO2, isn't cool? Look at that giant bubble right there, just floating on top of CO2. Look, whole bunch of bubbles floating. Awesome, huh? Here's a big bubble. Let's try to set it down inside of it. Ooh, check this out. Why is it floating up there? Wow, so beautiful. And as soon as it hit the rim of the bowl, it popped. Grab a straw and dip it in, in the soap and make a first bubble. Then inside of the bubble, I make another bubble. I'm gonna dip the straw again in a soap bubble mixture and... Then take it out, dip it again in a soap bubble mixture, the straw. So that's the, let's see how many can I do. Four, wow, that's so cool. Five, and they broke off. That was so cool, what do you guys think? Let's try this again. Four. One, two, three, four, five. That's a six one. Six. Seven. Ooh, and they will four fall apart. That was cool. I did seven, and then seven fall apart. I challenge you to get more. So that's like a little challenge. Pretty awesome. A lot of fun too. So the question is, why can I put to this store? But if I try to use the finger, it just pops. Turn it, Luke, you want some more Good water? Boy, Luke. Look at him. <laughs> now he wants to play some more with that water. He's like, turn yeah, it it's hot outside. <laughs> Look, 